Good afternoon everybody, PA Figs here, and we have a white Madeira to try today. This might be my first main crop, white Madeira. I had this in the greenhouse uh, all winter, hence the form that it's taken on with all the sagging branches. But I have two, uh, one that actually split, oh boy the ants, I need to get some coffee crowns on these guys, but you can see this guy here, if I look underneath, actually split. I'm going to still try to let him go one more day, but this guy here I saw has a nice little bit of jelly coming out, so I'm going to pick him. Still looks like it could have gone longer, but let's see what we got here. Alright, so let's see what we have here. One ant got in there, but not too bad. Oh, two ants. All right, so some beautiful cracking on the skin. Long neck. A lot of my figs have had long necks this season. I'm not exactly sure if that's due to the heat, the water, or, or what. Real nice big fig, real heavy. And you can see just that little bit of jelly sticking out of that eye, which tells me this should be pretty good. Let's see what we got in here. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, that looks mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. All right, let's get a quick picture of the outside here. Shows all that cracking. Beautiful, beautiful cracking. All right. Now let's give this a try. This looks delicious. Oh, it is delicious. Now, it's called white Madeira, but uh, don't confuse it with the taste profile of a black Madeira. It really does not taste like a black Madeira. Um, Hmm, how would I explain this? Very sugary, intense berry flavor, almost like a uh, Colidam Blanca. And kind of what it reminds me of with that, that long neck there. Let me try another bite. Mmm. It is very good. A little watery. Like I said, we had some rain the last couple days. Never helps the figs, but man, that is tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very good. Boy, if it can produce good figs like this in this size, and that's one of the biggest figs I've had in a long time. And that is absolutely delicious. It doesn't have that intense flavor of a black Madeira or the jamminess of it, but it's got a nice consistency with a little bit of seed crunch, and it's a big fig to have that good flavor with such a large fig. All right, I'm looking forward to having a lot more of these, hopefully. So far, white Madeira, and to also talk about, I have trouble with green figs a lot, so we'll see next year if I don't put it in the greenhouse how it fares, but uh, this might be a green fig to keep an eye on. Definitely a different profile than a lot of the other ones. Uh, look forward to doing a comparison hopefully here in the coming months or coming weeks since the season's going to be wrapping up here in September. But boy, white Madeira, I'm liking it. All right, everybody, I'm PA Figs. Take care.